welcome you to the Rick Case Arena on the campus of Nova Southeastern University in Davie, Florida for Cannonball 360. Possessions with Florida. Again, I talked about this in the first round. I think their experience is showing. Here's an open lane, and they botched the pass. Wow. Lormont very quickly saw the advantage they had, but the pass wasn't right. Dusty stopping before that fourth step, but throws it away. And some good defense that time from Orlando. You see dancing behind the net. You had a Florida ICANN player who was open. A substitute here or no? That shot too high from Antoine. Not a substitute, but the ruling I had originally thought the ball had belonged to Orlando, but it was ruled touched on a design player, so that's why you saw I can with the inbounds pass. Trying the long ball game and a violation there. Portillo able to handle the heat. Fastball right down the middle of the plate and a ripper from Dominguez, but Portillo right there. Chance here. Trying to score in close. Shot was partially blocked. And a couple of good opportunities for Orlando, but they come up empty. Great pass ahead. Yeah, you could just see that coming. That was too good. And Carl Sama with a grund. 7-1 on the one-pointer. What a great pass from Lormont. They don't give out assists in head of all 360 yet. Maybe we'll push for that one day. And that is a classic example of a great pass. And another one. Kenny Adams. Eight to one. Tremendous leverage from Adam. Watch the height he gets here. That is so hard for the grunt meter to react to. The reaction just slow enough that wasn't anything he could do. A little hobble there in the step of Israq Antoine. Didn't see what happened to him, but you can tell he's an ankle or a foot issue. He's got it. Got rid of it just in time. He's open. He'll fire it. And another one. And that's close to a rim run. Antoine, despite limping, able to get up in the air and put another one through. Did he get three out of this? And the answer is, oh, yes. That's absolutely should be three. And you can see Antoine, bad foot and all. And boom. That is dead, solid, perfect. And in my view, this decision has been made. Bam, and the words of Emperor Lagasse. Yep, that's correct. And uh, that didn't take long at all, so it is a three pointer. It's 11 to 1. And the clock is restored to 9.45 and counting, so Florida absolutely dominating this match right here. Partly because I think that Eduardo Portillo has been solid as the grunt meter for Florida, but also because of the athleticism and the leverage that Florida is getting on their shots. They have played very well. They have earned their 10 point advantage. Ooh, that hit the front of the rim. The net was actually knocked out of position. 
And just put back into position by one of the Orlando players, Cano. So Orlando's got to find an offense. And cross-court passes are dangerous because if they're telegraphed, they get intercepted. unable to do anything with that foul eight and a half minutes before our halftime show attack and a little miscommunication there one of the few mistakes made on the attack by Florida and it looks that uh, Antoine's got more bounce in the step than he did earlier when he was hobbling almost too many steps that time by Christian Dominguez but his effort and a grunt came up short save that is Juan Hernandez. Looks like number zero two that's in between. The, you can't say in between the pipes here. He is surrounded by the pipes. Now maybe a shot would have been the move there instead of a pass back out into traffic. Because right now, Florida's got an answer for everything. Good block, hustling back that time was Dominguez. He took it right in the body, but didn't flinch. And there is the automatic under 6.30 timeout, 6.29 remaining. It's Florida in front of Orlando, 11 to one. <laughs> Team with the white and blue in some trouble here in the second round. And a violation before the shot called by our referee. Pretty good position here for Antoine to lead an attack. You go to the corner. Look out! Oh, there's a white boat coming up the river. Adelson Lorma ripping the net. Is this a one or a three? Hard to tell from that angle, but it looks pretty close to three. I think it, you know, that angle still, they, they ruled it one so far, 12 to one. That shot coming up short. The effort there by Fernando Martinez, who we know has some fans in the stands. Let's see if we can get a good angle on this. Well, you see the ad sign kind of cave in a little bit. That, oh, that's going to be hard. The original ruling is a one-pointer. That... However, I think it's going to be a three. Survey says it is. So a rim run for Lorma. Another uh, rim run for Florida. And their lead gets even larger. And I, I want to congratulate our replay team for putting that one together because I never saw that one. But when they froze it and rolled it back, yes, it did indeed contact the rim for three points.
And look at the coordination here. And a nice save. And Hernandez actually had to save it twice. Look out. Are you? Uh, inside the circle hall, that was Moreno who just got into territory. He's not allowed to go in, and an attacking player could not go in that red circle. That is verboten. But the crisp passing, almost like a Harlem Globetrotter-esque weave. Wow! That was part of the way in and then rolled out. That would have been three more. And the counter punch is blocked. Quite one thing, the quickness of this Florida ICANN team has been too much for Orlando to handle. The shot there for Grund is too high. Look how crazy this is. That's in. And somehow spun out. I'm Kenny Adam. I want a refund. Not store credit. I want a refund. Going behind, trying to use the full net, but that pass anticipated beautifully. And a sharp save by Portillo. And got there. Antoine got to that, and then kind of let up a little bit. And allowed Orlando to sneak in and forced it. Eduardo Portillo to make a fine save, but he was right there. Lormont. Look behind the net on the attack. Tom, and that's a clear win run. I don't think they'll have to go to the replay monitor for that. They didn't. It's 17 to 1, Florida. Their offensive organization right now is superb. It seems like there's more than seven players on this team. Instead of six attackers, it looks like they have 12. They have guys running the spots right now. And the experience that Florida has over Orlando is beginning to show. We wondered about the youth of this design team and would it serve them. Uh, expected them to be very energetic and athletic, and they are, but they aren't as experienced as this Florida group, and it is showing. It is really showing. That should be a single grunt, 18 to 1. And number eight, Carl Sama. Sama, pardon me, able to get this one in just beautifully. Hernandez just a touch late reacting. Oh, and a response from Orlando with a blast from Cuervo. A golden shot from Cuervo. Does he clip rim here? It's pretty close. Right now it's put up as a single. I don't see uh, Carlos Marquez, the coach, asking for a review. Two hands. That's a run. It's 19 to 2. Hernandez just kind of backed up. Turned over. And very little going right at the moment for the design. Ooh. You know, if you're Hernandez, you're really glad that shot by Darwin Lobo went nowhere near him because that would have hurt. Darwin Lobo with a Rolls Chapman like throw. So this has been in the short history of Handball 360 over the last year and a half or so. This has been the most dominant performance by a team so far. This Florida ICANN squad is merciless. I think we did have a traveling violation called there on, uh, yeah, that's the right rule on Orlando. Taking more than, four steps shown to be plenty. And he took about six. Cross court interception. Chance perhaps for the divine design to get on the board. One more time. 
Marcelo Moreno now. It hit off of Portillo's hands and took the piece of the rim. That's a rim run right there. Clear as day. So it's 19 to 5. First rip run for Orlando. They need a bunch of them, but that's going to give them a little buoyancy because we're under 20 seconds. But this ICANN team is so organized in the attack. They didn't show it there, but they have just been circling the net like Hawks. Super aggressive. Down to under 10 seconds. Turned over. Chance for one more shot. Look at that. That's what I mean. A give and go. Adam. Oh, he came down too hard, got his rebound, and that will be the end of the half. What a performance by the Florida ICANN. 19 to 5 as we approach the half here. Rick Case Arena in Davie on the campus of Nova Southeastern University.